there, Wendy here from Draw So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean. So let's get started. With Jack Sparrow, we're going to first start by drawing his bandana. So right here, I'm going to draw a nice big curve that's going to go all the way across the top of his head. So I'm just going to go all the way across. Nice curve. And then from there, we're going to start to build up his... Um, the braids and the dreadlocks in his hair. So um, let's see, let's start right here then. But right here, this is gonna be the edge of his head. So right here, I'm gonna draw a little strand of hair that pops out. I'm just gonna curve it out. Another curve, and then connect it with some zigzags. And come in here, just draw some um, details. And then from there on this side, we're gonna draw some braids. So I'm going to make it a lot simpler and just draw these curves that come down. So it's just going to be curved and I'm going to aim for it coming down about right there. So I'm going to draw one over here. So basically it's the same thing on both sides. And then you can just come in here and connect it. And then right here I'm going to draw another one. Just a smaller one on the side. So I was trying to simplify this um, drawing as much as possible and I know it's pretty complicated but I hope you'll give it a try. So right here I'm going to draw a feather. Just come out here and draw some zigzags for this one feather. So I'm trying to draw just a key element in his hair. So a little feather. So I'm going to draw a center right here. And then on this side, he has this uh, little um, thing in his hair. <laughs> he has a lot of things in his hair, actually. But we're gonna draw this one that's pretty that stands out pretty much. Um, it's like a beaded dreadlock. So I'm gonna come here, and we're gonna aim to come down this way. So it's just basically kind of like um, squares and rectangles and ovals connected. So don't worry about it being a certain way. We just want to build this thing that comes down about right there. So I'm going to keep coming down. And I'm just going to stop everything about right here. I'm not going to finish it because I still have to figure out his face first. So now that I have these two things in, now I can draw his face. So I'm going to come about right here. I'm going to Imagine this is his face, I'm going to draw a curve. So about right here, I'm going to draw a curve and bring it up. All the way up, right there, and in. So there, now I have something to work with. So this is his face right here. And let's um, bring him to life first before we finish off everything. I'm gonna come towards his bandana right here, this curve, and towards his edge. And I'm going to draw a circle for his eyes. So right on the other side, towards the edge. There, and then let's make them draw so cute eyes. So two circles at an angle, curve line at the bottom, and shade in the top. So like I said, this um, drawing is a little bit more complicated because it has so many details. So my goal when I was trying to draw it for you was to try to minimize the details, but also adding enough <laughs> just to make it a challenge and make it interesting. So hopefully I succeeded. So there, draw so cute eyes, and the movie is coming out. So I figured I better get on this and draw it for you guys. So I hope you guys are big fans of uh, Jack Sparrow, because I am. <laughs> He's so cool and funny, so I love about it. Okay. So I got mm, muddle up that circle, but that's okay. And the lines at the bottom. Okay, so then now um, we're not gonna give him necessary lashes, but we do need to give him something to anchor his eyes. So I'm gonna come over here and let's finish, fix my circle, and I'm just gonna come to the edge right here and just give him a little curve like that. 
So same thing on this side, just a little one. And then right here, before I forget, he has this little mark right here, it's like an X. And in the center right here, I'm going to draw his nose because he has a mustache. So towards the center right here, I'm just going to draw a little curve. Just like that. Nothing complicated. Just a little curve. And then from there, we're going to draw his mustache. I'm going to come down both sides. Oops. <laughs> a little bit lopsided. And come towards the center and connect it. And connect it. And then from there, I'm going to under right here, I'm going to draw a little curve. For his mouth and under that is his little tiny tiny goatee <laughs> right there something like that so you can kind of just like a triangle basically under and then from there he has his other one his beard <laughs> so we're gonna come here and um, come towards the bottom right here in the center just give yourself a point and basically going to draw this beard he has so it's just kind of like two little braids that come together so just kind of wiggle it down like that and connect it back up so right there we're going to connect it back up to his face and let's shade that in so that's why I didn't give it much detail you just want to make this kind of like a little wobbly shape like this so it kind of looks like it's braids and then just shade it in black so you don't have to worry about the details so there we got our jack sparrow <laughs> now to work on everything else okay so now we're going to come back up right here to his bandana so we have we're going to come up about right there just finish off his bandana and we're going to come towards the center about right there and we're going to draw a curve to connect it and this side so i'm going to stop about right there and that's because i know he has this uh, little ornament right here it's like a little bone um, piece but if you're using a pencil just go around and come back down just like the other side but I'm going to come about right here and just draw this little bone thing that he has. I'm going to go to an angle and connect it a little curve. And then we come up here and just finish off this bandana. Add a little circle. And so to give the illusion that it is cloth, come in here on the edge. Just draw these um, crease lines right here. So, like that. And then right here, he has this another ornament that's pretty um, prominent. So, I'm just going to go in here, pop this out. And once again, you're just going to be connecting beads. It doesn't have to be a certain way. And then this last one is kind of like a hook I guess, a, a teeth, tooth, <laughs> and then from there let's come to the center once again, come up another layer but right here and we're going to finish off his head. So just kind of angle it towards this, like that, and come back down on this side, but on this side we're going to draw some hair. So I'm going to come up. So this side has his hair. I'm gonna curve, and let's see here. Let's curve it out. And then, um, let's see here, let's... Okay, so from there, <laughs> I know it's so complicated, right? Let's start to draw some of his hair right here. We're gonna finish this part off first then. Okay, so this one right here has this ornament that's a circle and has these three dangling things. And let's finish off this braid right here. So just taper it off and then um, come
come in here and we're gonna start to draw some dreadlocks for him. So we're gonna come out, about right here, pop out. And I'm just making, try and make it simplify as much as possible. So it's just basically little curves like this. So another one right here. So another big one right here actually. And just connect it. And this one has some decorations on it. So I'm just gonna go in here. It's kind of like some X's on there. So some of them you can just kind of end it. And it's just hair everywhere. <laughs> okay, so I got the two main ones. So on this side, I'm gonna come in here and just draw his hair. So this is his natural hair, slightly long and curly. And maybe add another dreadlock right here. So you're just basically trying to build his hair up, this mess of his. <laughs> and another one like that. Okay, so that's basically what you're trying to aim for. Main thing is his bandana, his face, and the hair that's just kind of all over the place. Okay, so then now from there, let's draw his body. So I'm gonna come over here, about right here, and I'm gonna draw a curve. So this is for his shoulder. So on the other side, right there. And then we're gonna imagine this is his armpit, but he has a vest, so I'm gonna go all the way up. So about right there, same thing on this side. And then from there, let's draw some details first. I'm gonna to come towards the center, about right. Give myself a point. I'm gonna draw the first layer of his clothes. So this is for the inside shirt. I'm just gonna... So this is his bare skin here, and then this is that vest, the top layer that he wears over his shirt. There. And then let's connect that, so. We've got right here, a little bit too tall. And we're gonna draw. So he has his belt. He has a cloth belt and a real belt all over it. So let's draw one layer first. And then right here, we're gonna draw a, um, a buckle. Come in here. So this is for the real belt. I'm gonna come in here and draw the inside of the buckle. And then there's this part that comes out. And then another strand of the belt that comes down this way. And I'm just gonna connect it right there. Uh, two circles. And let's finish off the belt. So we're gonna come down. And on this side, um, before I don't, um, since I'm using a Sharpie, I'm just gonna go ahead and draw this cloth loop that he ties, so about right there, pop it out, and connect it. Just add some strands. And now you can connect his belt, so right here. One, and then, let's see here, another layer. And here he has some strands, so I'm gonna come down. So this is still the cloth that he has. And another layer right here. So I'm gonna stop right there and finish off his um, outfit first before I finish that part. So come out here and just pop it out a little bit. Okay, so, um, and you can just add some curves right here just so you, indication that it's cloth. right here just come in here add some curves right here so that's not so stiff and then um, we're gonna come out for his um, coat his vest coat come towards right here and we're gonna imagine this being overlapped same thing here and connect it 
Okay, so then from there, we're gonna come towards the center, right here towards the center, then draw a slanted line. And then from there, we're gonna draw two angle lines, and so this is gonna be the start of his pants. And imagine hips. And just bring this part in for his pants. Here. So now we can go ahead and finish off this, the cloth right here that he ties and connect it. So come in here and just draw some lines to make it look like cloth. And right here, we're going to finish off the pants, just bring it in. And right here, connect it. So now comes the slightly easier part. <laughs> we're going to draw his boots. So from there, we're going to draw two angle lines that come out. And connect it. So same thing over here. And connect it. Okay, so now for his boots. So I'm going to have this one come out right here, and it's slightly wrinkled, so I'm just gonna kind of wobble my line a little bit, and bring it in, tapering as I go, and then bring out a foot, and connect it. And come in here, finish off those lines, and make it look wrinkly, and then same thing here, but this one's gonna be going out the other way, but it's the same thing, just wobble your line a little bit, come out this way and then same thing come in here and give it some curves okay now for his <laughs> his uh, shirt right here we're gonna imagine it's being in here nice pirate shirt it's gonna poof out but right there and then um, can simplify this and just give him this nice big cuff and just his hands right to his side so thumb and fingers too short there okay and then come in here and just draw some curves and then same thing on this side so we come over here about right there, poof it out, bring it in, connect it, and the cuff. So make sure it's about the same, thumb and fingers. There, and some lines. circle right here there's a little detail for his cuff and let's draw some details right here so so we're going to add some circles here for his um, vest jacket comes all the way down and in here you can add some curves as well just to make his pants look nice and Poofy and loose right there. And let's see here. You can finish off with more hair if you wanted. <laughs> Maybe you think it's not um, poofy enough. Um, let's see here. You can add one more if you wanted. And come in here and just finish it off. And that's it for um, whew, for this Jack Sparrow. You know what? Let me come in here and um, shade that in. <laughs> I think this will really pop it out. So there, my Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean. I know this drawing is a little bit complicated, but I hope you won't give up and give it a try. Thanks so much for watching, and if you loved it, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.